Well, if you're heading to downtown LA this morning, be prepared to take a detour. A stretch of the 101 is shut down while crews work on replacing the 6th Street Viaduct. KCL 9's Joy Benedict is there live to show us, and we've been teasing her all morning about how many times she has covered <laughs> this project over the last five years. It, it's been a lot. I can't even name the number of times that I've covered this project over the last five years, but it's been quite amazing to see it develop in the way that it has. I mean, and it's just quite spectacular if you look at it from down here on the 101, plus how many times do you get to actually stand on the 101 freeway while it's closed? You can see what they're doing there behind us. That's where they're taking out those beams um, because it is ready to just be standing on its own. And I want to bring in Gary Lee Moore, the city engineer here with the city of Los Los Angeles, this has been your project for five years. I guess explain to folks exactly what we're doing here. So uh, we're safely removing what's been holding up this bridge, the steel and the wood. Some of these beams weigh 30,000 pounds, so you actually have to lower them to the ground in a very safe manner so they can be trucked off the freeway. And this is just half of the, I guess, lowering project, right? You're just doing the southbound lanes this weekend. That's correct. In two weeks, we'll have to shut down the freeway again to lower all the beams on the north side. And, uh, and then it's just so exciting to finally see the concrete underneath this because it's been, we, it's unwrapping a present here. It is, and we've been talking about it. it's a $588 million project, the largest one you guys have ever had here in the city of Los Angeles when it comes to building a bridge. You've watched it all along. What's going to make this project so spectacular? Well, I think it's uh, what we like to say it's for bikers, for walkers, and then it's for cars. But it's going to be a place that you'll be able to come. These uh, arches will all be lit, so they'll change colors. It's going to be a place, a destination. There'll be a 12 acre park that we'll start construction on next year underneath this. It's going to be a real place for people in Los Angeles and outside of Los Angeles to visit. All right. Well, thank you so much, Gary Lee Moore, the city engineer here in Los Angeles. Obviously, quite a big project, as you said, we've been talking about for a very, very long time. But for folks who are trying to get around this area, I want to go ahead and show you the map because it does have the closures here as it does go from the 10 freeway all the way to the 510-101 interchange there. So there is quite a section of this area going through downtown that you cannot drive on the 101 and you want to make sure you find an alternate route. You can do that through the freeways. You can do it through the side streets, but nonetheless, expect a little bit of a slowdown this weekend. This is a 41-hour closure. It started at 10 p.m. on Friday night. It runs until 3 p.m. on Sunday. So those are the things that you need to think about. But it is, it's kind of cool, i got to be honest with you. And we can't really see it right now. It's just other people standing there. But just the beauty of the bridge as it expands all the way into downtown is quite stunning. But Amy, we'll show you that a little bit later. I'll send it back to you. All right, Joy, thanks so much. At least one person